Magandang araw po sa ating lahat. Good day to all of us. Ako po si Deborah Garcia and welcome to this series where we will practice the things that we learned from the past lessons that we had. Today we are going to practice the things that we learned from this lesson from the conversational Filipino series. I hope you still remember all of them. If not, go ahead and re-watch the video and of course take down some notes. So, handa na ba kayo? Mag-practice na tayo! In lesson 5, I gave you this dialogue as an example on how to start a conversation in Tagalog. Now, we are going to read this one. I will be part A and you will be part B. You need to read this as if you are really the one saying the dialogue. Okay? Are you ready? This is activity 1. So, Hi! Bago ka dito? Ganun ba? Ako nga pala si Ana. Ako rin. Sabay tayo mag-lunch mamaya. Ako rin. Mahal ang pagkain sa kantin. Alright. Now, let's exchange roles. You will be part A and then I will be B. Okay? Ready? Go. Oo, first day ko. Ako naman si Mika. Nice meeting you. Okay, sige. Pero nagbaon ako. Oo, sabi nga nila. Alright, I hope you enjoyed that. If you were not able to catch up with the pace, feel free to rewind the video and do it again until you get it. Okay? Let us now go to activity two and in here, you are going to choose the right response. I hope you still remember the content of the dialogue earlier. Okay, so I am going to read the statement and then you are going to pick the right response. All right, here we go. Hi, ako si Debra. Is it A, ako naman si Maya or B, ako rin, sabay tayo mag lunch mamaya? Number two. Bago ka dito? A. Oo, pero nagbaon ako. Or B. Oo, first day ko. Alright, number three. Mahal ang pagkain sa kantin? A. Sabi nga nila. Or B. Pero nagbaon ako. Last one. Sabay tayo mag-lunch mamaya? A. Ganun ba? Or B. Okay, sige. All right, think about it before I reveal the answer. Okay, time is up. That was 30 seconds. I just gave you 30 seconds because I, I feel like this is going to be easy for you already. So, I am going to read the statement. You are going to read the correct answer, okay? So, hi, ako si Debra. Bago ka dito? Mahal ang pagkain sa kantin? Sabay tayo mag-lunch mamaya? Okay, now let's exchange roles. I will be reading the answers. You read the statement. Okay, ready? Go. Ako naman si Maya. Oo, first day ko. Sabi nga nila. Okay, sige. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that one so we can move to our third and last activity. This one is just the vocabulary words that I gave you in lesson five. And of course, I use them in a sentence, but I don't want to give you a hard time on this one. So I put in the, the English term for every um, vocabulary words that we had. So sabi is said, mahal is expensive. Ako 
is I. Tayo, it's we or us. Sabay means together or do it together. And then bago means new. So let us go ahead and read um, each sentence. And then what will happen is I am going to let you translate these sentences into English. Okay? So, number one. Sabi ni Ben, magluto ka. Number two, mag-swimming tayo bukas. Number three, mahal ang bag ni Ana. Four, sabay silang nag-lunch. Number five, kumain ako sa Jollibee. And number six, bago ang cellphone ni Dan. If you want, you can go ahead and read the sentences. Um, take your time. I'll give you 60 seconds. But if the time runs out, you can go ahead and pause this video, okay? Timer starts now. All right, time is up. That was 60 seconds. You are going to read these sentences with me. So let's start with the Tagalog sentences first and then let's read the English translation, okay? One at a time. All right, ready? Sabi ni Ben, magluto ka. Ben said, you cook. Number two, magswimming tayo bukas. Let's swim tomorrow. Number three, mahal ang bag ni Anna. Anna's bag is expensive. Number four, sabay silang nag-lunch. They had lunch together. Number five, kumain ako sa Jollibee. I ate at Jollibee. And then number six, bago ang cellphone ni Dan. Dan's cellphone is new. All right, and that's the last activity that we have for today. I hope with all the vocabulary words that you learned from the previous lessons, you would be able to easily translate Tagalog sentences into English sentences already. I'm just giving you these simple sentences, um, and then I just recycled some of the words, or maybe most of the words, from the previous lessons that we had. And that is all for today. I hope you enjoy learning the Tagalog language. See you again in the next practice. Bye!